So for this section, we're going to talk about calibrations. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get in clinic is, do I need to do a calibration when I get a BG reminder alert? So let's have a little recap. What is a BG reminder alert? A BG reminder alert is to keep you in auto mode. A calibration is to ensure that you're getting the data from the sensor and that data is accurate. So if you do get a BG reminder alert, and it's also your time to calibrate, please use that blood glucose level and calibrate as you would do normally. However, when would you not want to calibrate? So for example, if you've got rapidly changing sensor glucose values, or you have two or three arrows on the screen, you may decide that that's not the right time to calibrate. So you may be asking, why do I get repeated BG required now or calibrate now alerts? In auto mode, it will always have safety in mind. And the system is stricter than standalone CGM. So if you've entered a blood glucose level that's not been accepted, it will ask you to repeat by asking you to enter another blood glucose level. But it's really important that you wait at around 30 to 60 minutes before doing this. You may receive additional requests to calibrate now from the pump, particularly on day one of a new sensor. And that's quite normal. It's just the pump checking itself and ensuring that the sensor information is as accurate as possible. Your role is to ensure that you're calibrating at the correct times. So make sure that you spread your calibrations throughout the day, making sure that they're before meals and before bedtime to avoid any overnight alerts. If you receive a calibration not accepted alert, please check your pump screen to ensure that you don't have a sensor updating alert. It's also advised to wait at least 15 minutes before entering another calibration. Some people, however, have found that waiting longer, more like a couple of hours, has helped. Please remember that when entering another calibration, that you enter a new blood glucose into the system and you also wash your hands. What we want to avoid is a second consecutive cow not accepted alert. This will result in you having to change the sensor, which we really want to avoid. So let's have a recap. For auto mode to be successful, there are three main things that you need to be able to do. First of all, make sure you enter all your carbs and bolus before all meals. Second, when to test your blood glucose levels. So you need to test your blood glucose levels before meals and before bed for calibrations to avoid them nighttime alerts. You will also need to blood glucose test for corrections. The pump will advise a correction if you're above 8.3, but remember it's taken into account lots of other information. So there may be times where it won't advise a correction at that time. And thirdly, the pump will give you alerts, BG alerts, to stay in auto mode. Just remember, follow any of the on-screen instructions and respond to any of the alerts that the pump has offered you.